Your Excellency, Senator Rucha Zukurucha. Um, ladies and gentlemen and the press, I am Dugu Jonathan Dugu. I am from Nasarawa State, number one fan of Senator Rucha Zukurucha. I came from a very humble background. My dad is a reverend, and when I was growing up, the orientation I got was that for you to be successful in life, you must be a giver. I grew up with that mentality. And when I was uh, an adult, the first person that I saw that practically did what I was taught from childhood was Senator Rocha Zokorocha. And since then, he has been my mentor. I have been following him. He has, he's a role model to me. All I hope in life is to be like Senator Rocha Zokorocha. And that inspired me. 2013, I wanted to do, be like him. Go ahead about what he does. He has given scholarship to so many students through competitive creativity and brain task educational activities. He has employed thousands of Nigerian youth by his various business and huge investment in the country and helped so many through his magnanimity and philanthropic gesture. So I wanted to be like Senator Rochas. 2013, I was on transit and a lady who was going along the same way stopped the car. Transport fare was 200 naira. So he had, she had 180 naira. The driver refused to pick her job because she had no 20 naira. So I was imagining if one, just 20 naira, because 20 naira, and unfortunately I was not having the 20 naira to help. So when I got to my destination, I said, Rochas build schools and give for free for those who couldn't afford food, uh, school. Since I want to be like Rochas, what should I do? I started planning. I, I, I gathered money and I was able to buy a mini bus. I went to my community, invited press, I went to the chief and I donated the bus. I named it Zero Naira. The bus ran for free. When it went on air, many people came to support, but they came on condition. Many people who had money were ready to support my dream, but they gave condition. But because I was doing it because I want to do, I want to be like him. Not because I want, I want any gain or I wanted money. I turned down the, their offer and at the point I couldn't maintain the dream and it collapsed. At the peak of uh, COVID-19, I donated hand washing machine to the state government. I also donated one to the Zenet Bank, which is my bank. And all this, the person who inspired me to do all this is Senator Rocha Zucrocha. I have once given the only car I had to support someone. When I believe in a cause, I go all out for it. Um, two weeks ago, I'm married. I have two, three kids. My first son is five years, and the twin are five months. Two months ago, I was sleeping. I woke up in the night. I look at the situation. I am 39 years old. At 39, I have nothing to write home about. At 39, I, look, I, I, I looked at my, my kids, and I'm like, what do I have? What plans do I have for these children? Things are getting bad. If I die today, what happens to these children? I can't, the best thing that would have happened to them is to invest for them. But what do I have to invest for these children? I looked around and I said, how long shall the youth of this great country continue deception and unfulfilled promises? When shall our plight come to an end? There is thick darkness all over this country, but who can we trust to beam the light of prosperity? I, I discover a hidden jewel in a great man who, against all odds, is determined and resolute to accomplish his dream, a dream of taking Nigeria to her glory days. I believe in Senator Rocha Zukrocha, the man who has stood the test of time, who believes that this country can be better, the poor and the wretched can smile, and a lot of this country can improve. As one who came from a very humble background, I grew up to study what happened at international politics and local politics. And I discovered that, like for example, US, they contribute money to support their politicians, thereby, therefore they hold them responsible for electorate and they deliver their mandate, even when it entails giving their lives for it. 
So I believe as a country, if we can go all out for who or what we believe in, we, we, our democracy will be better. So I, I woke up in the morning and I make up my mind. I said, my next salary, I'll give 25% of my salary to support Rocha Zogoda. <laughs> and all the giving I have done so far, I don't, give, I don't do it because I wanted anything in return. And because of that, I don't get frustrated. Many of my friends, each time I want to make donations, they follow me, they accompany me, I go and make such donations. At a point, they got tired. They said, my, my, my dreams and my decisions are, this is an adventure they don't understand. So many of them back out. I make up my mind, I said, I'm going to give 25% of my salary to support Richards. This is just, I want to sow a seed in the life of someone. Since I have no money to invest for my children, let me, let me invest in a man that can make life better for the whole country. If Nigeria is better, if Nigeria is better, it's the best investment I'll give, not just to myself, not just to my wife, not just to my children, but to the whole youth and the entire country. So I, I woke up in the morning when my salary came. I told I didn't tell my wife because I've done a lot of that and I, I felt she may get tired. So I, I, I told, I told, she brought the list of the things I need, we need to buy. I, I, re, I brought my tithe, I removed my tithe, and the remaining money, the bill she brought was actually huge. I told her, I said, look, baby, I am taking 25% of this to donate someone. He said, hey. I said, yes. He said, who? I said, Rocha Zucrocha. I was shocked. She said, he deserved it. So I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter. The only thing she said was, e, since I'm giving 25% to Senator Rochas, why did I remove 10% for God? Why not 25% too? And I said, that's what God, the God I give 10% laid this in my heart. So let me, let me do it this way. So I wrote a letter, went to the National Assembly. I had no hope of meeting him. I didn't do it because I want to meet him. I went to the National Assembly, wrote a letter and attached the donation. And all I wanted was, the, the amount was small. It's not about the amount, but the call is large. So I went, went to the office. I was lucky I met the secretary in the office. And I told him, this is from my heart. And this is, this is I believe it's God that's leading me. So give this to Senator Rocha Zokrocha. Let him buy airtime for communication. Tell him I am calling him. I believe he's the only one that can save this country. So on behalf of myself, my family, and Nigerian youth, Your Excellency, I believe so much in you. And that donation came from me. And I hope you answer this call so you can see the Nigerian future. Thank you very much. And to you, DJD, Dogo Jonathan Dogo, uh, you touched me in my spiritual island of Langaha. <laughs> You got me so mesmerized and tantalized that I became flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know who 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 advised you. What has been revealed to you is not even revealed to those who are with me. Because people didn't see the need to sow into what I do. But I don't know who revealed that to you. It must be God. And I want you to challenge this your God and challenge the God of Russians. If this giving will make you small. If your intention is right and you have come to give for this cause, then challenge this God that I pray to every day. If your life will not change as a result, then know that I'm not worshiping the living God. Abigima, I 
has ever contributed one naira or one dollar to Rochester Foundation. And I, I have never applied for assistance to any, any foreign body, any country, any NGO to support Rochester Foundation. Rochester Foundation is a unique foundation that does not even accept the gifts from any other organization, and we have not done that. So when you hear people uh, say that Rochester's uh, uh, Okorocha Foundation is the way he raised money from people and from Red Cross, it's all lies. And I, there's no one single one naira that has come from anybody. I could only recall one widow in uh, Owele that brought in Gadi eggs and coconut to the foundation children. I, I could recall uh, one gentleman, I can't remember his name, who brought a fridge, one fridge to Rochester Foundation for where I, I could recall, uh, uh, that's about it. I can't remember three or four people that's given something to the children. Maybe I could remember, recall a like or when he came and he wept. And the Gadduje, and they gave, I think, 500,000 or 1 million. I don't even think the money was ever to the donation. So Rochester Foundation has never collected it ever. So for you to become, as I say, who are you to become a 25% owner of the blessings of Rochester Foundation? <laughs> it, it's surprising. Because this is in a nation where people believe in primitive accumulation of wealth, yeah. a world that comes in, but does not go out. And that's the reason for the poverty, apparent poverty in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigerians are not givers. Nigerians are selfish, primitive accumulators, and they are never satisfied. Once they get one naira, they want two naira, they get ten naira, they want one thousand, they get one thousand, they want one billion, they get one billion, they want ten billion, they want ten million from ten million, one hundred million, one million, million, they want to own one billion, from one billion they get fifty or five hundred billion, from five hundred billion, they want one trillion, they want trillion, they want to control the whole world. In fact, there's never a space for them to give out. And that is the apparent poverty in this nation. Even as a nation, we don't even have a day of Thanksgiving. We don't even have a day to reach out and help those who do not have. But as, as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I must have a national day of giving. Where we begin to teach the world on how to go out and help people. On how to go out and reach out to people. Why must you have clothes, 500 pieces of clothes, 200, 30 pairs of shoes, and some of them are too tight for you to wear, but you don't have the heart, the space in your heart to help someone who doesn't have shoes on. This, this is the poverty in Africa. That's where we can go to abroad and buy buy Okeka and buy Gonjo, second hand clothes, because those are donations people make and they tie it and we buy it. Because we have never learned to create our own second hand clothes to give to the poor. And yet there's none of you here that doesn't have about five pairs of clothes. And you can we can only wear one clothes at the same time. Even when it has torn, they had to give it out. You don't give. And the excuse you make is that when you give to the poor, they use it for ritual against you. That is the barbarism chapter one, verse one. <laughs> so I, 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 want, I, I want to urge Nigerians to be givers. And the hand that gives must always remain on top. You can't go, if you can't give from below, you must give from top. So if this nation must be on top, our nation must be a nation of giving. I don't see why Nigeria cannot give to South Africa, cannot give to Kenya, cannot give to Satomi, cannot give to other African countries. As leader of Africa, we can't even give. So that is what we must do. The two religion will practice all about giving and sacrifice. But our nation does not know about sacrifice. You young men, do you want to grow? Then you must begin to give. You must learn to make sacrifices. We're able to if you have five cars, remove five cars. My friend, you don't have a car and give someone who doesn't have a car. Because my Bible tells me that whatever you do to the list of these ones, that's what you have done unto me. So you when I heard that somebody brought salary, provided of the salary to give me, I was trying to run from it. 
when they came again, my dear, he came about three days ago, I think, or, or something. And I didn't, why do you want to see me? I said, what is he coming to give me? Then they came to me and said, the man came back. I said, you must have me. Well, I want to accept it. And I want you to be my friend from now as for us. Your Excellency, yes. Senator Rocha is a girl child. I believe so much in you and I want to be like you. I want to be a giver like you. You've inspired me. So um, I'm making a donation to 5% of my salary to sow a seed in your life and call you to come and save the Nigerian future. Accept this humble donation from me. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Let me say this, there was every joy in my heart that I have accepted uh, this 25% uh, of your monthly salary yes, yes, yes. the widow's mind uh, yes. to me as a person or to my foundation. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and your request is that this is a clear call of me to yes. come and help solve the challenging problems of our nation. Yes. That it might be better for children and children get on board. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Double that and double, I have accepted this. Thank you, sir. the 25,000 children of the Church Foundation. And since you have come, that's what to be like. This will present a contract. Thank you. And a contract that you grow from strength to strength. Thank you, And that God will bless you. Amen. And you continue to give out and give more. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.